Hello, my name is Sarah. Welcome back to our video series, Wigs for Beginners. In our first video, we covered how to wear synthetic lace front wigs for beginners. Today, we're going to be going over all the products that you need and the pro tips and tricks for caring for and maintaining your synthetic wigs to make sure that they last and keep on looking beautiful. First thing you need to know is how to store your wigs. Our best recommendation is to store them on a mannequin head of some sort so that it'll maintain its shape a little better. We do have mannequin heads like this one. You can also use a foldable wig stand like this one. That's nice for keeping it nice and compact and storing it again. There are styrofoam heads like this one and one like this or a canvas head would be great for working on your wig as well because you can pin the wig down and it'll be great for either plucking the hairline, cutting the lace, or cutting and trimming the hair. Now, if you have a heavy or very long wig, these very lightweight mannequin heads may fall over. So we recommend a mannequin head holder, especially if you're working on your wig while it's on the mannequin head, that'll just clamp and attach to the mannequin head and that way it'll keep your mannequin head upright. The next step that I would recommend is to spray your wigs with a synthetic leave-in conditioning and detangling spray quite often. I spray them every time I put them away and every time I put them on to keep them nice and sleek and tangle free. Let's do a quick demo to show you how much a detangling spray really makes a difference. After a night of wearing your wig, it might look a little something like this. So we can use this awesome synthetic wig detangling spray to bring this wig back to life. So all you want to do is give it a light spritz, make sure it's evenly coated, and you want to use a wig brush or a wide tooth comb. And especially with lace fronts, you do need to be careful to not pull any of the hairs or make a tear through the lace. So at the top especially, you want to be really careful. And just carefully comb it through. Look at what a difference that made. So spraying your wigs frequently is going to be something that's gonna help your wig to keep its style and shape and to last a lot longer. So now we're gonna show you how to wash your wig. You will wanna wash your wig around once a month depending on your type of wear because it will absorb odors, oils, and it will have product buildup from the sprays and whatever you use to style your wigs. Our best tip for washing your wigs is to make sure that you use purified, filtered, or distilled water of some sort. So today we're going to be using some purified water here. So you wanna have a bowl or a sink full of purified or distilled water. Today we're going to be using awesome synthetic wig shampoo. You wanna make sure that you have a shampoo that's formulated for synthetic hair specifically. You don't need much. You can just fill the cap up and pour that into the water. Just swish it around. You wanna make sure that you use cold water. That will help the wig to maintain its shape and style much better. When your wig's ready to be washed, you wanna put it in the bowl or sink full of water and soak it in that shampoo. With lace front wigs especially, you wanna be really gentle with them. Don't rub or pull or scrub them really hard. You just wanna soak them. You wanna let it soak for about 10 minutes. After it's soaked, you can turn the cap inside out. If you have any product buildup or any concealer in the lace, then you can scrub the lace gently to get that out. And you can scrub the back of the neck if it gets really dirty back there as well. And again, keep letting it soak. So after you've let this soak for about 10 minutes, then you're ready to take your wig out. You wanna gently squeeze the water out. Again, don't be rough, don't twist them. And you do wanna give it another rinse to make sure you got all the soap out. So rinse it with clean water.
and just squeeze out the excess water. You can use a towel to dry them off a little bit, but again, don't twist or rub them. Just gently soak up the water. So after you've gotten out as much moisture as you can from the wig by gently squeezing it, you just wanna let it air dry. As a final step, you can spray a little bit more of the conditioning and detangling spray just lightly to help maintain the frizz. And you can use a wide tooth comb or gently comb it through with your fingers. Especially when synthetic hair is wet, you wanna be really gentle with it. So you wanna let it dry on a mannequin head or a wig stand. And depending on the thickness of the hair, it may take a few hours to overnight to completely dry. You don't want to blow dry synthetic hair or heat style them at all when they're wet. If you do heat style them, then you'll want to wait until they're completely dry. Not all synthetic hair is heat styling friendly, but if it is, it will tell you on the box and it will tell you how many degrees of heat it can withstand. If you heat style your wigs, you do want to use a thermal protectant like this Remy one to protect your synthetic hairs. So just to recap, our best tips for beginners wearing wigs is to make sure that you store them on a mannequin head to maintain their shape, that you use a detangling spray often so it'll stay tangle free, wash it with cold and distilled water to maintain its shape and quality, and let it air dry and be very gentle with your synthetic wigs. These tips are going to help your wigs to last a lot longer and stay looking beautiful. If you want to learn more about caring for your wigs or see the giant wig selection that we have at United Beauty Supply, visit us at one of our store locations in Phoenix, Goodyear, Glendale, or Mesa, or visit us online at unitedbeautysupply.com. I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any suggestions of any other videos you'd like to see about wigs, leave it in the comments below. Like and subscribe, follow for more.